Welcome back to the Daily Wrap. It's now time for Yay or Nay. This is a segment now that is so critically acclaimed. It's actually getting its own segment bump. Play it! We are such a big budget Yay. show. That wow. is so happening. You kind know, of a, kind of a kind of a pinkish a, a pinkish shoe. Yeah. Pinkish shoe. That has salmon or Nantucket red. Salmon. That's yeah. that's Nantucket red. Thank you, Carl. Boy, Ooh, Carl, guy. you're such a sensitive from man. a seal. Who would guess? Deep down. <laughs> anyway, I think we could all pretty much agree that jury duty is the worst. Correct. So. When getting out of your civic duty, we're always told not to try to use the old I'm too busy excuse the next time you're summoned, unless you're a former vice president. Yes, Al Gore, a former vice president himself and nearly a president, thank you, Florida, showed up to jury duty Monday, suit and all, but was dismissed because he was, and he had, I should say, an out of state meeting next week and wouldn't be available if the trial went that long. So, your yay or nay question should we all get excused from jury duty for having a busy schedule, Bill? <laughs> well, yes, of course. Really? No, I, no, that's ridiculous. It's like he should have, he should have been, sat and been excused by. The lawyer, for whatever reason, the lawyers wanted to excuse him, but that's crazy. But if you went into a, you had to serve jury duty, and you said, you know what, I got to be on the Daily Wrap, and I got a haircut next well, week. Well, the never, Daily Wrap. No one gets excused for that. No, nobody gets. No, I think you don't. should be able to be excused once or twice. I've jury duty tomorrow. You do? Actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. I really have it tomorrow. So uh, I think you should be able to be like, hey, look, I got, I got some videotapes to return. I, I, I can't do it today, but you should, you should have to serve it. And, you know, move, move it once. That's fine. Are that's you on fine. the jury, or are you? No, I have to actually go and sit in the room and be selected. They're probably not going to select me. Okay. So they never do. Now, where I came from, which was California, that's basically how it worked. The first time was free. You could get right out of it. Oh, After right. that, you better have a darn good reason. Okay. I'll go with nay. It's an inconvenient truth that we all have to serve our civic duty. That was his. Yeah, his, uh, we got it. All right, I tried. Eh. Anyway, <laughs> if you have Time Warner Cable or Dish Network or watch any of CBS's hit comedies or dramas, you may have gotten a glimpse into a world without the Tiffany Network, CBS during their negotiation struggles last week. But don't worry, CBS CEO Leslie Moonves says CBS isn't going anywhere and will be part of every TV bundle. Between its hold on the NFL and the Super Bowl and its string of number one comedies and dramas, including NCIS, Moonves may have a point. So I have to ask, could you live in a world without CBS, yay or nay, Rick? Absolutely, and they would not have a hold on football if we weren't seeing them, so they would move somewhere else. Carl. Yeah, individual shows would go somewhere else, but I could live fine without CBS. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. It's a television network. Now <laughs> ask me if I could live without Newsmax. Could you live without Newsmax? Never. Rick? No. Never. I, could, I can't live without Rick. Oh. <laughs> and I have to go with the nay. I haven't really watched CBS since Dallas and the Dukes of Hazzard were back to back. Actually, when Dukes of Hazzard and Dallas, somehow they went back to back on Friday nights, the least watched night of the week, and they were number one, number two in the ratings. And then when the Muppets went away, then I, I simply haven't come back. Anyway, the United States is set to suffer a major doctor shortage over the next 10 years, according to a new report conducted Tuesday by the Association of American Medical Colleges. By the year 2025, we may be short, get this, 90,000 doctors. The shortage is due in part to Obamacare covering more people as well as an increasing aging population. We've all heard about the baby boomers now retiring that will have more chronic diseases like cancer. Great. So would you advise your child, or in Rick's case, your grandchild, to become a doctor in today's world, yay or nay? Absolutely yes. And, and by the way, to set the record straight, they're not telling you the truth. The American Medical Association decides how many medical schools they can be. They lost track of it. They should have authorized more medical schools 20 years ago. It's their fault we're having this shortage. Carl. All I can say is I told you so. So <laughs> <laughs> well, that going to work out. So, but would you advise but, your, but your no daughter I told to become you a doctor? So I, would, I would not. I would not. You would not. Okay. Yeah. I would. I, if 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 w my child wants to be a doctor, right. absolutely. But if they're deciding whether to be a doctor or not based on what they get paid, right. then they're making the decision on the wrong basis. Okay. And I, I would be anyhow. Yeah. I, I could speak to this somewhat intelligently because uh, my wife is a doctor and she actually uh, obviously went to undergrad and then afterwards had to do her residency and then afterwards had to go to, I'm sorry, medical school, then residency. All right, so you're talking, you know, years, years, take her boards, she has to take it again next year. There, there are student loans out the wazoo. Thank God she got a scholarship to her undergrad. Yeah. But by the time she actually can earn real money, She's 30 years old. Her 20s are it's, gone. It's like lawyers, it's though. Like, my cousin's a doctor, and she says, you know what? I should have done, taken something else. I have tons of friends who are lawyers. I said, I should have done something else. 
Grass is always greener. Well, that's their own fault. Yeah. I'm yeah. Happy I just, with everything I've done. I just think we have to incentivize uh, American I agree. I agree. children more that, okay, we'll, we'll help you pay for these things more. It shouldn't be so expensive right. to do something so hard. Where's the money coming from, though? Doctors are the butt of the healthcare system. It's their own fault because they haven't managed themselves well, but that's got to be fixed. You can't have a healthcare system without a doctor. Billy, True. It's our first time here, so you get the final word. Ten seconds. This is really horrible, but I think I agree with Rick, <laughs> and I'm not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> wow. I feel, I'm moving away from that. Wow. I apologize. <laughs> I'll scoot well, down, Carl. And we'll, we'll end it on, on that disturbing note. So I, I thank our panel tonight. By the way, a lot of testosterone on the yeah, set. Yeah, it was and good. You all did a great job. We really appreciate it. And thank you all for tuning in as well. Tune in tomorrow night, 6 p.m., for more Daily Wrap right here on Newsmax TV. I'm Joe Contra. Bye-bye.